Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to solve question number 23, lead code, merge case audit list. You are given an array of K linked list. Each linked list is sorted in ascending order. We'll have to merge all the linked list into one sorted linked list. So here, for example, this is an array and this is the linked list. And then the output has to be a sorted linked list. So let's try to understand this first with an example. So consider this diagram to understand this problem. Here each array node has a linked list. So when we access the first element of an array, we will get the head of this particular linked list in our variable. And then we can access the linked list till it's null. This is how we access the linked list in an array. So now at least we know how to access a linked list which is stored in an array. Now the second part is how will we sort the elements of all the linked list together. So for that approach, I'm planning to use priority queues. If you don't know what a priority queue is, you should watch my previous video, which is based on priority queue tutorial. So basically a priority queue is a queue which takes in input in any order. But when you remove the elements, the elements come out in ascending or descending order. So let's get started with the code. First here, I'll define my priority queue. Queue of integer type, because, because if you can see the definition of our list node, the val is of type int. So, and we'll be ascending or descending on the basis of this val value itself. Okay, now we try to access our uh, list. So we we'll put a for loop for each list. So what is the type of the list? It's list node. So for each list in our array, which is lists array, we'll uh, put a while loop now. So while till what time we want to access that list. So we want to access the list. So we want to access the list till it's not equal to null. And then we want to add our element to the uh, priority queue. So to add the element to the priority queue, this is the function. And I'll do list dot val. And uh, to hover to the next element, what we'll do is lst equal to lst dot next now by this point we have all the elements uh, of all the list stored in our priority queue now is the time to remove the elements from priority queue which will uh, get removed in a particular priority so what we'll do is we'll create a list node type of result new Let's note and then we'll create a list node type of dummy where we do the operations and then um, we'll run a while loop while RPQ is not empty we run this while loop me dot next we store the new list node with eq dot pole pole is the function which removes the elements from the priority queue So in the next list node, we stored our element and then we moved the pointer to the next uh, dummy node. And why we did this step? Because if the dummy node will be, uh, the pointer will be moving to the end and in linked list, we can't go back. So to get the head, uh, we'll always have the access to our head in our result. 
and then in the end we'll we can just return the result so here we'll do return result so result has the head of the um, list and we'll do next to get the first element i'll just run this So we can see we got the expected output. Now let's submit this. And it's accepted. So stay connected and please put your questions in the comments. Thank you.